going to be a comparison with two pro portable propane heaters. And mine is the uh, Bismar Martin heater and his is the Procom Blue Flame heater. Now the Martin has a thermostatic control. It has uh, shut off uh, if, the, uh, if there's low oxygen, it tilts over. Uh, it has uh, all, all the features, the same as the uh, body heaters does, but it has like, here's the thermostat control. You can turn it from to high to minimum. First of all, you push it in, turn it to pilot, light the flame, and, and then you can t put it to whatever temperature. Uh, what I do is uh, turn it on to full until I get the temperature I want in the in my RV and then I turn it so it just goes out then it'll maintain a two degree uh, fluctuation it'll go up and down in, within two degrees and hold that temperature which is uh, just perfect uh, like I said it has the tilt uh, function it'll tur turn off if it tilts over uh, a little oxygen It'll turn off, uh, low a fuel, it'll turn off, so it has uh, uh, quite a few features. Now I found that if you run it perfectly level, you will get no CO2. Well, uh, there is, uh, the way to get perfect zero CO2 is to have a complete burn of your fuel. If, uh, the, the fuel that's not burnt is what causes the CO2. So if you uh, light it up and you get a com nice complete burn, uh, it will um, have no CO2 in the air. And here I'm going to just fire it up just so you can see what's going on. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to see how red it gets. Might be able to see. Yeah, you probably be able to see if it gets red. Um, you hold the button in for, well it says 30 to 60 seconds and then let it out, turn it to pilot, the pilot light goes on and uh, then you can turn it to whatever um, high, medium, low, whatever you want as far as. So we'll turn it on, turn it up. Let's have a good close look at it here to see if we can see anything uh, it's getting pretty warm. You can see in the bottom, well, not right here, right now, but uh, you can see in the bottom there'll be a little red circle that glows. That's where the pilot light uh, flame is, and that flame is, is on all the time uh, when it's turned on. So it's putting out a pretty good heat. I turned it up to full just to get it to go here a little bit. My uh, CO detector right there so whenever I want to check and see if there's anything in the air I push the button and get a readout if there is any and it should be starting to get pretty warm by now and we'll have a look here in a minute it should start turning red yeah you can see kind of a little bit of a red glow to it now at night it gets obviously really red it looks like a nice little fireplace Or camping, fishing, hunting, in a tent, in an RV, of course. But with the thermostatic control, way better than the body heater. Now you can see it's nice and red. This is where you can put the one pound bottle, or I've got it hooked up to a 20 pound bottle with a filter on it to keep all the dirt and dust out of it so it doesn't clog up the, the lines. And we'll have a look at Chuck's uh, Procom Blue Flame Heater. A little different shape. Nice looking little unit. Looks like a little fireplace. And uh, with the blue flame, it, uh, it really does resemble a, a fireplace. Really nice looking unit. Uh, mine is a, uh, the Martin is a 10,000 BTU and this, uh, 
trucks here is a 10,000 BTU. It's got minimum and maximum setting. It does not have a thermostat control, so you've either got it on low or high. Low is 5,000 or 5,500 BTU, and the, the high is the 10,000 BTU. And uh, let's give it a light. He's push the button to get it started here. Purge the air out. Listen for the gas to start flowing. Good. And when it's ready, uh, give it a spark. And she should light up. Uh, did you, did you shoot oh, there we go. I had to hold it in longer. Oh, there. Okay. There's. A, oh, I see the yeah. blue flame down the bottom there. So I had to. Hold the button and I didn't hold it in long enough. Okay. I, there we oh, go. There, oh, look at that. So. That looks like, like a little fireplace. Yeah, exactly. So that's kind of. <laughs> Perfect. It takes a few minutes to click in. But yeah, that you can feel the heat. Well, that's got a nice flame. That's why they call it the blue flame. Right? Yeah, it has a blue, not the red. And my understanding is a blue flame denotes it's burning. More of the more propellant or efficiently yeah. or the propane or liquid or whatever you want to call it. I'm not and an expert. I... Grab this thing, no problem. It n none of the structure gets hot other than that area in glass. Oh wow. Okay. Whoop. At the moment. Zero. Zero ppm. 